The former U.S. prisoner of war, Sergeant Bo Bergdahl, is now for the first time telling his own story in his own words. We're getting this new information only hours after the U.S. military charged Bergdahl with desertion. Let's go to our Pentagon correspondent, Barbara Starr. She's got the breaking news. What is he saying, Barbara? Wolf, this is a lengthy document just made public by Bo Bergdahl's civilian lawyer, a man named Eugene Fidel. Several pages where Fidel lays out the case that he will attempt to make if and when this actually goes to trial. But at the end of this lengthy document, several pages from Bo Bergdahl himself, in his own words, what he went through. And let me just start with one quote from Sergeant Bergdahl. And in this document, he says, quote, I was kept in constant isolation for the entire five years with little to no understanding of time, told I was going to be executed, told I would have my ears and nose cut off. Some of the other details that Sergeant Bergdahl offers for the first time, he says he was chained to a bed, spread eagle and blindfolded, that he had eight to 12 open wounds on each wrist under his hand shackles, and he describes rather graphically how he would attempt to drain those wounds himself, beaten with a copper cable. Over the years, he tried to escape several times. He said once he was able to be gone for nine days. Uh, he was held in various conditions at various points. He became quite ill, he says. At one point, he got better. But all of this going to the case that apparently the defense will try and make that this soldier suffered greatly for the five years he was in Taliban captivity. In well, this statement, and I haven't read the statement, uh, Barbara, does he explain why he walked away from his base? Well, it, it, the, in the portion which the attorney has written, Bergdahl does not. In the portion which the attorney has written, uh, the attorney suggests that we will learn more uh, about all of this should it go to an open trial proceeding. He does say that, you know, everyone's well aware of the rumor that Bergdahl wanted to do something like walk to China. And, and he says quite bluntly that none of that is true. Uh, he didn't want to walk to China. He didn't want to join the Taliban. He didn't cooperate with the Taliban. Um, so beginning to lay out the framework of the case that we are likely to see, Wolf.